In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a loading circle animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we've got a brand new sequence created. And we first just want to begin by creating a circle. So in order to do that, I'm just going to create a new black video. Press OK on this and we'll drag this into our timeline. Then we're just going to increase the duration up to around 10 seconds or so. Now we'll go into opacity and we'll select the create ellipse mask tool and that has created a near perfect circle, but it's not quite perfect. So I'm just going to make a few adjustments to really round that out. And we're pretty much there. So from here, I'm just going to go into effects and search for tint. Drop tint onto that black video and we're going to map the black to white. So as you can see, we've got a circle now, but at the moment you can see we're at full quality, but it looks a little bit fuzzy and you can really see that if we zoom in, the edge looks really soft. And that's because when you create a mask by default, the mask feather will be set to 10. We want to remove that and go to zero and that's going to create a really solid outline here. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll decrease the scale. Then we'll move the position of this up. And to make life so much easier for us, I'm just going to go ahead and create another big circle. So I'm going to copy this. So we'll hold option or alt, alt if you're on Windows, option if you're on Mac, and then we'll drag that black solid up to video layer two. Then we'll just move the position back down to the center. I'm just going to increase the scale a little bit further. And then we're just going to map the black to a different color. So let's go for something really dark, but subtle. So like a dark green. Then we'll just drag our white circle back on top and we'll be basically going to be using this green circle as a reference to where to put these dots. So I'm just going to move that up so that this now sits perfectly on that green circle like this. So in order to create this loading animation, we want this to appear on and then fade off. And then it's just going to keep doing this process as it rotates around. So we'll go to the very beginning. We'll make sure that the opacity is at 100%. Then we'll go two frames to the right create a brand new keyframe on mask opacity and we'll go four keyframes to the right and pull that down to zero. As you can see that that's possibly a little bit too quick. So I'm just going to move that second keyframe over to the right to slow that down. And that looks good. Now we want to go ahead and make a copy of that circle and then we'll just move this around the circle. I'm going to position it roughly around here. Doesn't need to be perfect, just use this circle as a general reference. Then we'll copy that circle and we'll move the position of that one around the circle even more. And then just keep repeating this process over and over again until you get all the way around that circle. And there you go. From here, you can see we've just got a large green circle with a bunch of smaller white circles just fading off. So we can turn off the reference circle for now. We don't need that. And now you can see these are all animating off at the same time. And that is because there is no delay. So we're just going to go five keyframes to the right. And we'll shift two over to the cursor. Then we'll go another five across. And we'll shift three over to the cursor. And you just want to keep doing this. And that looks really cool. So now what we want to do is we want to make this loopable. So we're just going to grab all of those circles. We'll right click and select pre-compose or nest in Premiere Pro and we'll call this circle. Then you just want to go through to the point where this last circle here fades away completely. We'll make a cut there, delete the rest of the video and then we'll make a copy of this circle layer. We'll drag that over to the line. So now you'll notice it does this but there is a sudden hold between the end of this one and the start of this one. Now from here, you just want to drag this circle layer over to the left. So as you can see, that hold is a little bit too long. So we'll drag that over again. So that is here. That looks really good. So what I'm going to do to mark that specific point, I'm going to select C on the keyboard to load the razor tool make a cut in video one. So now that we've created a marker for that, I'm just going to delete the video on video layer three. And I'm just going to make a copy of this layer. And then I'll just move this video up to the marker. Then I'll just keep repeating that process. So I'll make a few copies of that. And you'll notice we've got this really awesome loading animation. 
Of course, though, at the moment it is way too large. So we're just going to select all of those layers, right click, select nest. And then you can go ahead and change the scale and the position of this without affecting anything else. So they're all going to be treated as one video rather than six or seven different smaller videos for smaller circles. So as you can see, that looks really good. That is exactly how you would imagine a loading circle to look. And if you wanted to as well, you could actually add some color onto this. So if we go into the nested sequence and we go into this nested sequence, you can go ahead and change the matte black color on the first circle to a color of your choice. So I'm going to go for a saturated green. Then I'm just going to copy that color code. Press OK. Now I'm going to move to the second circle or matte black two paste in that color code, but I'm going to move it a little bit more towards the white. So it's less saturated now. Then we'll go over again, matte black two, copy that color code in and move it over again. And then just keep repeating this process until you get all of the colors that you are looking for. And there you go. So now when we go back to our original sequence, you can see we've got this really cool color gradient on our loading animation. You can also create a slow zoom in or zoom out on this if you wanted to. So at the very beginning, we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale. We'll go towards the very end and we'll just increase this up to 13 or 14. And you can see it's going to slowly zoom in over time. But there you go. That is how you create this really simple and really subtle loading circle animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.